Before we start today's video, we have a message from our sponsor. Does it make sense that the same company who controls half of online retail also passively eavesdrops on your private conversations at home? What about the idea that a single company controls 90% of internet searches, runs your email service, and gets to crack everything you do on your smartphone? Big tech is more powerful than most countries are, and they profit by exploiting your personal data. It's time to put a layer of protection between your online activity and these tech juggernauts. And that's why we use ExpressVPN. Think about how much of your life is on the internet. Sadly, every site you visit, video you watch, or message you send gets cracked and data mined. But when you run ExpressVPN on your device, the software hides your IP address, something big tech can use to personally identify you. So ExpressVPN makes your activity harder to trace and sell to advertisers. ExpressVPN also encrypts 100% of your internet data to keep you safe from hackers and eavesdroppers on your network. What I like most about ExpressVPN is how easy it is to use. Download the app on your phone or computer, tap one button, and you're protected. And ExpressVPN does all of this without slowing your connection. That's why it's rated the number one VPN service by TechRadar, The Verge, and countless others. So stop handing over your personal data to the big tech monopoly who mines your activity and sells your information protect yourself with the vpn we trust to keep us safe online visit expressvpn.com forward slash twins to get three extra months for free yeah oj simpson man he's got a hot twitter going <laughs> be putting up videos uh, he's a content creator now <laughs> O.J. Simpson, who got away with murder, is a content creator. Well, he didn't See, get away. Any, huh? He found not guilty. By the Constitution, he is not guilty. No, he pulled the race card, and he got off because the jury is a bunch of idiots. Well, the cop did say nigger. Well, that don't mean O.J. is innocent. <laughs> How you say some shit 10, year, 10 years for a trial, you dropping in, automatically the, the, the person that's accused of murder is innocent. Yeah, that makes a lot of I mean, sense. Do I remember that correctly? Did the cop? Yeah, know, they, 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 uh, yeah, okay. Delegitimized his testimony. Yeah, because he said the N word. Yeah, he liked to drop the N word in now and then. Yeah. That's the legal system. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just depends on context, you know? Yeah, that shouldn't even be an internet. That was, that was, uh, that's bull crap. Well, Everything, it, like, when you go to a trial, everything should be based on the facts of the case. Not the not the mistakes, the person that was testifying. J that shouldn't be involved. That shouldn't even be considered. should be the facts of, of the case. I think this is why they call us the black face of white supremacy now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm not agreeing with what, uh, I think his name was Thurman. Hey, man, the dude. I don't, I don't agree with the words he used, but he's, I mean, the society shouldn't be penalized for his stupidity. Well, OJ, I just got Socrates. Well, if OJ, OJ, if OJ didn't kill her, if OJ's really a killer, shouldn't he be still killing bitches out there? <laughs> no, it was, a, it was an act of passion. Yeah, he saw that, mu that white mushroom tip inside of his ex. He lost his damn mind. Yeah, so that's my pussy. It's a, it was a crime of passion. Yeah, I would say so. He damn near chopped her fucking head off. Anyway, we. Man, what are we talking about? We talking about OJ's killing ass. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about OJ on, on he's his, a content creator now. He's doing videos on Twitter, <laughs> right? And he's talking. He, he's giving his opinions. Yeah. His analysis. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, Roe versus Wade, and this is what he had to say. Stop it right there. Hey, Look at Twitter. all that damn forehead action. <laughs> he like Mega Mind. Well, at least that is one big ass forehead. No, well, at least his forehead is symmetrical. I've seen people with big foreheads, and you may like like Stephen A. Smith. That forehead is not symmetrical. <laughs> what are you talking about? Stephen A.'s forehead looks like it's I don't the care damn, how symmetrical. Look like it's the side of the moon. When you're talking. <laughs> I can deal with OJ's forehead. OJ's forehead looks looks philosophical. <laughs> Like Mega Mind, like he got a big brain. Yeah, but anyway, let's go to the video. Hey, Twitter world, it's me, yours truly. Until Happy Sunday. <laughs> well, it's my Twitter site, so it's my opinion. Let's start with Roe versus Wade. Uh, I thought it was a horrible decision. I think women should have the right to decide uh, uh, what happens uh, with their bodies, especially in cases of rape and um, 
and incest. I'm a little surprised that some of these alleged evangelical women who uh, have been speaking out against, you know, I guess abortion. Look, if you believe in God, you should know it's going to come down to whatever person and the Lord one day. So let's leave it up to him when that time comes. Uh, we all going to have to face him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you fooled that jury. You ain't going to fool God. <laughs> hey, so I hey, I want to make this point real quick. Let me do some talking. Go ahead. If you really believe a woman had a choice to do what she want with her body, if you really believe that, Nicole Brown Simpson would still be alive. If you truly believe that. Yeah. But you don't. You're full of shit. Well, maybe he does. Maybe just in that moment he didn't feel that way. Crime of passion, right? Hey, let me say something. I'm going to bring up these stats. Here, pull up the chart. <laughs> pull up the chart. <laughs> I mean, they always bring up rape, incest, and they always bring up abortions because the baby going to kill the mama. And look, you can trust this chart because it's from Planned Parenthood. Look, look at the rape. 0.085%. That's percentage. Yeah. So you got to actually put two more zeros in there before the eight. Yeah. To turn that into a percentage. It's an insignificant amount of abortions that are due to rape. Then yeah. you have incestuous relationship. That means brother busted nuts inside of his sister and had a kid. Look at that, 0.001%. Yeah, I mean, as far as percentage, that is like 0.00001% if you actually made it into a percentage. Yeah, look, the woman's life was endangered by pregnancy. I mean, nobody's trying to ban abortions if the woman's life is in danger. I can't see a woman. I mean, they're always making that argument. It's false to spread misinformation. No doctor is going to turn a woman away for a pregnancy that is going to kill her because abortion's been banned. Yeah. And then and pull, pull up. notice at the bottom of the chart, mm -hmm. look, the woman aborted for social or economic reasons. I mean, you could just give the baby for uh, well, adoption. Well, you, you should just add that to the bottom one. No reason. Yeah, 98% of the abortions is no reason or they have social or economic reasons. You can just give the baby up for adoption, in other words. Well, I'm just, well, whatever. Those, those are. But those then percent. he brings up, so, I mean, that's, not, you're bit, that's a disingenuous argument when you bring up incest and rape. Yeah. Right? Uh, but there's no, uh, there's no abortion clinics that say, no, you got rape, I can't do this. Yeah. It's been banned, I'm sorry. Against the oath I took. Yeah, there's, there's, even in these states where they're banning it. Yeah, they're making exceptions for these rare occurrences. Right. But he was also making a, an argument that this, that banning abortion is based on faith. It has nothing to do with faith. Some yeah. people might dislike abortion because of their faith, but that shouldn't be the only reason why we should ban abortion. It's morally reprehensible. Yeah, thou shall not kill. Yeah. So y'all, that's faith based. I'm I'm saying morally is reprehensible. Dang, Nobody should have the right to murder the kids. Thou shalt not kill is uh, faith based. It's the end of Ten Commandments. No, that's the damn law. You can't go around killing motherfuckers. That's one of the Ten Commandments. That's more. I faith mean, based. but it's but it's not. That's the actual law. No, that that law applies to murder and robbing people and killing people. I'm talking about when it comes to the. Uh, what you think you doing when you uh, aborting a baby? You killing a motherfucker? Not. <laughs> People don't see it that That's way. That's not faith-based. Thou, thou shalt not. Okay, let me take thou out, bitch. You cannot kill people. But liberals are saying it's not a person. It is a person. But you can't use that faith argument because they're going to say, oh, I'm you're not using faith. I That's know the law saying. against murder. When it comes to uh, debating people on abortion, leave your faith out of it. Just stick to science, and, and it's just more yeah, than reprehensible. My, my, that's not a faith-based argument. I because, mean. But if you say that thou shalt not kill, they're going to say, oh, you push well, take the thou, Calvin. You, yeah. you get what I'm saying? It's, yeah, I know what you're saying. Thou, you cannot kill somebody. That's the fucking law. It has nothing to do with faith. <laughs> Why are you saying that's a faith-based Based it, it's argument. one of the Ten Commandments. I don't give a fuck what it is. <laughs> it's common sense. Thou shalt not kill. That. Well, I why know did you that. Say, well, why did you say I was making a faith-based argument? Because people are trying to make this, oh, you pushing your beliefs on me. I don't like using my faith to justify banning abortion. I like to keep it based well, on you science. you ain't got to believe in God. No, you can't go up and slice a bitch's throat. Well, tell these damn, liberal, these damn liberals that, man. They don't know that. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm trying to say. Just keep your no, faith you, out of it. No, no, you listen, but you ain't hearing what I'm saying. No, you listen to me. I'm listening, and I understand where you come from. All right, but when, whenever you're debating somebody on 
uh, abortion, keep your faith out of it because say, oh, I don't believe in your faith. Yeah. Keep your faith. You, oh, you're pushing your beliefs on me. Yeah. Abortion is a euphemism for murder. Yeah. That's all it is. Right. It's you Democrats. It's, on your, it's all's own fault it went this far. Yeah. It is. I don't think it went this far if y'all wouldn't have said, yeah, nine months. Yeah. I can go into Planned Parenthood and kill my kid at nine yeah. months. You people are some sick fucks. Yeah, then y'all start pushing that, that's when the Republicans stood up because y'all some sick people. Yeah. Nine months, eight months, you, seven months, you, six months. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Yeah, they was even saying after the baby's born. And then after the, you know what? I don't like him. He ain't got green eyes. I'm going to kill him. I mean, y'all sick. Y'all, it's something wrong with you people. Yeah, y'all was politicizing it for votes yeah. when this shouldn't even be a political issue. It should be more of a moral humanity issue. This shouldn't even be in politics. Everybody should do the right thing, regardless if you're liberal or Republican. We should be voting on this. It should be, it's more than reprehensible. Nobody should be in there justifying your right to murder your children. They call it reproductive health. Bitch, ain't nobody telling you you can't get pregnant. <laughs> well, when I think of reproductive health, I'm thinking of like prenatals, prenatal vitamins. I'm thinking about monthly checkups. Oh, you can't get pregnant. They give you them damn, all them damn shots and pills. Then you end up having 30 kids all at once. That's, <laughs> that's, that's reproductive health. Reproductive health is not killing the fucking kid in your stomach. Yeah, I mean, it might, reproductive health for who? Reproductive health is me getting my nuts chopped so I can't get somebody pregnant. Reproductive health is you going there getting your tube tied so you won't get pregnant. Yeah. Reproductive health is you getting a damn uh, IUD slammed up in your snacks so you can't get pregnant. That's reproductive health. Yeah. Reproductive health is not somebody busting nuts in you and two, eight weeks in, baby died. Like, hey, I ain't trying to have his baby. You a damn baby killer. Yeah, reproductive health is plan B before, you know, the egg is fertilized. Reproductive health yeah, that's is the plan B. Yeah, yeah plan B. Yeah. Plan B. You follow me? I, I you follow, follow me? that. I follow you on that. Reproductive health is condoms. Reproductive health is me and then pulling out before I bust. That ain't reproductive and health. And reproductive health all over your face. That ain't reproductive health. That's reproductive health. Hey, Kevin, that's not reproductive yeah, health. Yeah, it is. No, it ain't. That's called being a responsible man. <laughs> that's what that is. Fitna. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I've been tired. I'm finna come. Get up. Get up, bitch. <laughs> Hell, I tell you. I'm finna come. I'm fertile. Man, I'm so damn fertile. I just put one drop of semen inside of you. You're getting pregnant. That was a damn good show.